What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're looking at what loot I have received from farming Nomer a hundred times and uh, this video is going to show you that RNG is big when you do dungeons like this. I'm going to get more into details on that but before we start uh, I do want to mention that this video is of course sponsored by myself so if you guys are struggling to make gold in retail, maybe you're playing classic TBC, or you just want to get ahead when Blizzard releases classic fresh, you guys can get 50% off on all of the gold guides using code Shadowlands. So basically, just click the link down below in the description or pinned comments, and it's going to take you to uh, the website where you can get all of the gold guides and 50% off using code Shadowlands. So... In this video, I've already done 100 runs of Nomer, and if you guys want to see me like do the runs live, I stream every single run that I do on Twitch TV. So my stream is also linked down below. And uh, it's super RNG. I've done 100 runs of Nomer and uploaded it to YouTube in the past, and it's usually been really good. And uh, like normally when you do it, you uh, I average like... Probably 0 0.8, 0 0.9 specific blue items from Nomer like every 10 runs. So I end up at like 9, 10 blues that specific that can only drop a Nomer. However, this time around, I didn't get a single Nomer specific blue until I was at run number 65 or something crazy like that. And meanwhile, I had people uh, doing the dungeon at the same time as me who got like four blue items, uh, all worth between 50 to 100,000 gold in 10 runs. So after 100 runs, this is what I'm left with. By the way, I'm going to link the original video to uh, how to farm Nomer and what you could possibly get from the dungeon down below. Uh, but like green items, there's a couple of green items that you want to keep, like Silver Tread is really good. These leggings are okay. Market value is 5k. These hats always sell, and right now they have a really good price as well. So I always tend to uh, throw those up on the auction house. Uh, the sage cloth is really good, and the legs usually sell together with uh, the chest. So I always put those up on the auction house. And then I got like Hand of Darkness. Not a really good one, but a lot of people are stepping into crafting. So uh, I'm going to put these up on the auction house too. And then when it comes to world drop blues, because I was lucky with the world drop blues, sadly, the majority of them are going to suck at this level range. Like, look at these. There's very few blue items uh, worth mentioning. The best one being the uh, Twisted Saber. Like, it's not even that good, but it's, it's the one with the highest market value. And then this last bag right here is the items that is specific to Nomer, right? So you can get some schematics. These schematics are actually really good. They tend to sell. Uh, so I've never had any problem uh, selling these. And then I got like Craftsman Monaco, which has a stupidly low price right now. Even sold one like a day ago for 700 gold. And the market value is like 29k. Then I got the Gnomish Universal Remote. They sell, so I'm going to throw it up on the auction house. But only four blue items, like transmog items from Nomer. I got the Supercharger Battle Axe, I got two of those. I got the Mega Chopper, one of those, and I got one High Tech Super Gun. But not even a single Vibro Blade. Like, there was so many items you can get from Nomer. Uh, the Mechaneers overall, like, that item, uh, I'm gonna throw it up right here. Let's see if it's up on the auction house. It is up on the auction house. Like, one of these alone, like, half a million gold. So, again, it, it changes drastically with RNG. The uh, Vibroblade, I usually get a ton of these. 90,000 gold. Even though it looks like shit, but, like, trust me, they actually sell. So, yeah, it was absolutely horrible. If I use my, uh, my macro to see how much all this is worth, it is worth... 598,000 gold on my realm if I put everything up on the auction house and it sells for listed prices. Uh, that would be good like a while ago, but right now I had to flash bomb at over 100,000 gold alone. And then these bad boys, another like 110,000 gold. And prices in general are really higher right now on Transmog. So if I had a good run, it should have been like 
800 to a million gold from these 100 runs of Nomer. Like if I look at some of my previous 100 run results, that would have been worth like a million gold roughly. Uh, so right now, prices are absolutely insane. I definitely uh, advise you guys to go and farm Nomer just because of the specific Nomer blues alone are worth a lot of gold and there's not that many people farming Nomer. At least if you compare it to some of the other dungeons, there's not that many people doing it. Uh, so yeah, just never lucky. Hopefully I'm more lucky in the next dungeon that I'm going to do 100 runs of. I have one video almost done. I think I need like 20 more runs. Uh, but that was pretty much it for today's video. So make sure to check out the uh, full video on how to run it. Like my route and all of that down below. And of course, you can always check out one of the gold guides if you're interested in that. And that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.